Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got another version of the Terrapin. Uh, we did uh, another version of this the other day. This is their Muhu Chiato Chocolate Espresso Imperial Milk Stout. Uh, and this is done by Terrapin. And like I told you on the last beer review, they just sold out to, to the big boys. So uh, Rico sent this to me because I don't buy Terrapin beers anymore. I don't support the big guys. Uh, even though those guys did some awesome tasty beer, but uh, when you sell out, I'm done with you. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I do appreciate Rico sending this to me and spending his hard-earned money on it. Uh, I've actually not seen this particular uh, version of the beer here. So, uh, and it's got 2016 up here in the corner of the label, and uh, it's an 8.5% ABV beer. So. Probably the 2016 is the only information as far as dating that we're going to get from these guys. Uh, so, uh, looking forward to this, and this is a, probably an expensive damn bottle. It's got the wax on the top of it. Uh, usually that's reserved for bourbon barrel aged stuff, and I guess they thought this was important enough to do that too. And, and guys, this just increases the price, uh, in my opinion. Just my opinion. There's a lot of people say it works and it does what it's supposed to do, but the beer is under pressure, it's trying to get out. Air can't get in while it's under pressure unless you've got a bad cap. So maybe this helps them in case they do have a bad cap to seal everything in so nothing can get in there and cause the beer to go flat or whatever. But uh, have somebody to end the bottle line and dipping every one of these in there adds cost to the beer. So we'll see what this one brings to the table. This is the Muhu Chiato. Uh, IBUs is not listed here on Rate Beer. And they actually have it listed as a 6.1 percenter. Well, that's not right, guys. You need to update your damn site. Uh, this is a damn eight and a half percenter. So the information basically coming from these guys here on this beer is incorrect. So let's step over to Beer Advocate and see what they have. They have it listed as an eight and a half percenter, but they still don't have it listed for the IBUs. And we'll double double check here. They have eight eight and a half percent on untapped, and they have just thirty IBUs. So uh, two out of three of them are correct, but Rape Beer is not. They are incorrect. Uh, and their commercial description says Reserve Series 2014, and this is a 2016. Uh, they need to update your site, and unless I've overlooked something and they do have a 2016 version of this somewhere, I did not see it. So uh, we're probably just going to go ahead and skip the skip the commercial description on this one since it's got the wrong information. And uh, a beer advocate says, let's read what beer advocate says. They have the right information. Uh, like your favorite cup of cafe mocha. Muhu Chiato Chocolate Espresso Imperial Milk Stout puts you in the right state of mind, taking the aroma of expertly roasted espresso from Jittery Joe's and let your taste buds meld into the flavor of Island and St. Clair's award winning chocolate. Brewed with lactose sugar for a creamy mouthfeel and a touch of sweetness, this is the barista, barista's wish come true. And it says here, ABV varies by year, so that's why. Uh, a beer advocate has the wrong information. And uh, guys, I apologize. Uh, let me step back real quick here and look and see if they have it listed for a different year. No. They just have one listing on rate beer for this beer. And it is the wrong information. 
So I'm not even, we're going to throw everything they have. We're not going to go back for the grade or anything on this particular beer since they have the wrong information. They need to come in here and update that and, and put the 2016 version with the right ABV and all that stuff on there. So they're out of the picture on this one. Uh, and as far as Rico did send me this beer, and, and brother, I appreciate everything you do for me, my friend. Uh, can't wait till you can come back down here and spend some another weekend or so with me. So I do appreciate everything you do for me, brother. Uh, he has here, oh, it's a $12 bottle. Uh, the year is printed in the left-hand corner, which is 2016, eight and a half chocolate espresso milk style. So that's what he has on his notes. And that's all we need to talk about. So let me grab my little knife here and see if we can carve a little circle underneath the cap here where I can get my opener underneath there. And a lot of times I can run this knife under the cap, wax, and peel off enough to get mine on there, but it doesn't look like it's going to work on this one. So let me wheedle, wheedle, wheedle. Whittle down on this and see if I can get enough wax off where I can get the opener underneath of it. And I will tell you while I'm doing this, uh, the food program just says chocolate. Goes well with your chocolate dish. Well, uh, yeah, I can see that. It's an imperial milk stout. So it should go very well with the chocolate dishes, of course. Maybe that's enough to do it. Uh, glass water, pint, back or nothing, mug, Stein, Seidel. I'm going to use my favorite tool of glass. There we go. Got it out. And not recommend for sin of cellaring. Uh, the only reason I would agree with that is because it is done with coffee. Guys, that coffee will fade over time. So, And these little pieces of wax, if you're not careful, another reason why I don't like wax on there, it will fall down in your glass. And if you don't see it, you'll be drinking it. Oh, I've got a big chop. Is that a bug? No. That's a piece of that silly ass wax they put on us so they can charge you more money. All right. Get it into the glass. Let's stand it up. Let's see if we can get us a little head on this thing. And this is a little bit bigger bottle than your typical 12 ouncer. So I'm probably not going to get it all on the original pour in there. That's about all we need in there. About a finger of head. Nice khaki colored head on that. Over to the light, it's pitch black, guys. No light at all. Not even any red rubiness around the bottom. Great looking beer. Get a nose on it. Oh, yes. Definitely getting the roasted malt and the milk chocolate. Very nice sweetness on the back end. Hints of coffee. Mmm, wonderful aroma. But they don't tell us when in 2016 it was done. Whether it was done in November, December, at the end of the year, or it was done in January, February, at the beginning of the year. I would like to know that because it's got coffee in it. So we'll know we won't want the coffee to pay. If it was done in January, you wouldn't want to buy it in December, even though it's a 2016 Imperial Stout. Uh, that coffee's going to fade over time. So I would like to see them put them at least a month and a year if they're going to do it with coffee. Wonderful chocolate notes on it, though. Well, let's dive in. Let's see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brother Rico. Love you, brother. Wow. A lot of these stouts and, and uh, Imperial Porters and stuff have some slight chocolate notes or some bittersweet chocolate notes. This has got a milk chocolate note to me. It's like a candy bar. Oh, it's tasty. And as much as I like to fuss, and I do, if it doesn't have a date or whatever on the beer, or if they've been bought out by the one, some of the big guys, I'm going to tell you straight up, guys. Some of these beers, or these breweries, still produce awesome beers, even though they've been bought out. This is a very tasty beer that Terrapins put out here. And just like uh, 
the uh, Bourbon County series that Goose Island is doing, and they've been bought out. That series is still very tasty to me, guys. Uh, there are some breweries that still have control over what they're doing, and the big guys don't mess around with that much. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes the beers get transferred to another location and all that. Some of these breweries still retain control and still produce some very tasty beers. I will say that. And having the big guys come in and buy them out usually increases their funding for expansion or, or distribution or, or, or things like that, which is good for all of us. So that is the only good side of uh, uh, the big guys buying out a smaller brewery. But when they come in and take over and the, the brewers leave because they're disgruntled and they chuck change and stuff, a lot of times the beer suffers for that. And uh, it is what it is. When they come flashing those big wads of money in front of you, some of these guys, it's very hard for them to resist. And, uh, and, and they don't, and they sell out. So, But once they do, I don't buy them anymore. Even though they're still producing probably some very tasty beers, I just don't want to support AB and Bev or Coors Miller. I just don't want to do it. Or Heineken or, or none of those guys that's, that's been buying up uh, so many of the breweries. And, and the damn, now they're buying up the... Uh, uh, the brew house uh, supply stores, uh, people that, that do home brewing, they're buying them up now. So they're going to try to control the beer industry like they have since Prohibition and even before now uh, by buying these guys up. And they have very, very deep pockets. They have lobbyists in, in, in the capital that vote uh, for what, the way they want it voted and, and put rules and regulations on breweries and all this kind of shit, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, but that's the world we live in. So this is very, very tasty, guys. I am very, very impressed with this. It tastes very, very nice, like a candy bar in a glass. So uh, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and sip on this. Might fire up a stogie to go with it and see what we end up with it uh, at the end here. But uh, right now, I'm pretty impressed. So let's see after it warms up what I think about the beer. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. This is a very well-made beer. It's very awesome. Uh, and they know it's awesome. That's why they had somebody standing at the end of the bottle line dipping it in wax so they could charge you more because they knew what they had. Very tasty beer, guys. Uh, the other half loved it. Had to pry it out of her hand. <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's like a candy bar in a glass, guys. It really is. Uh, the coffee is a little subdued uh, since they put the Jerry Joe's coffee in there. But I don't know when in 16, 2016 this was done. What what month of the year it was done. If it was done at the beginning of the year, the coffee has faded a little bit. If it was done at the end of the year, I'm a little disappointed on what the coffee tastes I've got. It's there, but it's a little subdued. I'm getting more roasted malt and milk chocolate than coffee. In the taste, I'm getting a hint of the coffee that's used, but it's not like a Sumatra coffee, and they say espresso. That's why I'm thinking it's a little older, and the coffee has faded a little bit. So, like I said, I'm not sure exactly when in 2016 this was put in the bottle, but the coffee notes are a little on the subdued side for espresso coffee. But it is still a very tasty beer. It tastes just like a candy bar in a glass to me. It's a uh, and uh, it's it's very tasty. It's very well done. Alcohol super well hidden. Uh, a great beer to pick up if you can get it fresh. If you know when these guys are doing this style of beer with the coffee in it. They made an attempt by putting 2016 on there. But we kind of want to know the month. So we'll know if it's three months, four months, six months, eight months, 12 months old. Because that coffee is going to fade just like hops do in an IPA or a double IPA. So... Uh, that's a start. So maybe now they've been bought out, maybe they'll have a better dating system uh, for these type of beers that they're doing. Because the, the big guys like to see a, a born on date or an actual bottle date. And I'm a fan of that. Uh, instead of a used by, enjoy by, best by date. I'm not a fan of that. So, but, you know, it is what it is and we got what we got. So Rico, once again, my brother, I do appreciate you sending it to me. It is a very delicious beer, guys. So let's do the final chug on this thing. 
And I will tell you, uh, guys, I got some openers still left here. Uh, red, orange, dark, blue, green. Still got a few of those left. If anybody's needing one, shoot me an email. GTPucket at Comcast.net. And uh, uh, I'll tell you what I got left and what it's going to cost. Shipping rates just went up. Stamps went up. Everything went up last Sunday. Today is the 26th of January. They just raised the price of the stamps and they raised the price of shipping everything. So uh, shoot me an email if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to have some more t-shirts in here. I've only got a few cup. I've got, I've got a couple double X's, uh, one triple X. Uh, I think I've got one medium and some smalls. I don't have any extra larges or larges. But I'm going to get some more in here. And then when I do, I'll do a video. So if you need an opener, i got some of those. Give me a shout. That is very tasty, guys. I am very impressed with uh, with this beer. Other than the coffee notes being a little on the subdued side, I would like to know when it was put in the bottle and drink one of these fresh just to see how much coffee flavor and aromas it's going to have. So uh, that's the only downfall about trying to sell her a beer like this or not knowing when, uh, what month of the year it was done in and when they do coffee. It's just uh, important to me to put the month and the year on something that's brewed with coffee as it is an IPA or a double IPA because you want to you want to be able to taste that stuff if they brewed it with coffee and it's six eight twelve months old the coffee is unfaded now uh, so that's the only plus I've got about this I do think it's an A beer but I want a little more information on the label than what they're providing so maybe that'll change we'll see uh, to me guys I think it's an A beer but uh, I want to see more information, so I'm going to give it the 8, which is A-. minus. I do think it's an A beer, very well-made beer, but I want to taste that coffee, and uh, and I'm not getting it right now. So uh, if they didn't have it on the label, I wouldn't fuss so much. But when they got espresso, brewed with espresso coffee, and I can't taste it, that tells me the beer is a little older than it should be, or something has happened there. Uh, they didn't use enough coffee or whatever. So I uh, just want to see that. If they're going to put coffee in it, but the month and the year. We don't need to date, but we would like to know uh, what part of the year it was done in. January, July, June, December, November? Let us know because the coffee is faded on this one, guys, in my opinion. So, well, let's go over. Like I said, uh, uh, Beer, uh, Beer Advocate's got the right information. They have 90 in the outstanding range. That's exactly where I would put it. A minus, 90 from me, 90 from these guys. We agree. Uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 4.25. Uh, that's about in the middle of the A category there. So uh, evidently these guys, and it's got 2016 on here. So uh, evidently some of these guys are tasting the coffee or had it fresher than I've got it or just liked it more than I have. Uh, if I had known the month on this one, I would probably judge it accordingly. And if it was only a month, two, three... Uh, I could see where uh, uh, the, the coffee may not have faded, but if it was done 6, 8, 12 months ago, uh, yeah, the coffee is going to fade substantially by now. So, that's what I want to see on this style, and I'm your voice, guys, to tell these breweries uh, what we want and what we want to see, uh, since y'all uh, don't do beer reviews, most of you, and uh, uh, that's, that's why I'm here to tell these big guys uh, what we want to see and what we don't like about what they're doing. That's that's why I'm here, guys. I'm, I'm your voice. So. Let me know if you've had this one from uh, uh, Terrapin Beer Company. This is their Muhu Chiato 2016. Uh, want to see that coffee? If they're going to do coffee, that's good. We want to taste it if you're going to do it with coffee. So put the month on there so we'll know how fresh the beer is. That's what I say. Just me, just my OCD. All right, guys, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take that walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge. See you then.